On January 2nd, Huawei held a meeting with Harmony OS developers. Developers suggested improvements like a color tool for watches. Harmony OS supports development through meetings and awards. The developers attending the meeting also expressed that they truly felt Huawei's intention to work alongside them to get things right. The Harmony OS native system has provided a lot of encouragement for developers to better engage in native app development and adaptation, such as frequently holding exchange meetings and generously awarding developers. For instance, one of the attendees was a young developer named Zhou Jeyu, who created a bento app and has already won several trophies awarded by Harmony OS at such a young age. Harmony OS's payment system lets developers earn from their work. The Bento app's animations stood out. On Android, creating animations was tough due to few system transitions. Harmony OS lets us call and adjust them. Chen Chenge, from a non-professional background, won the grand prize at the Integrated Cloud Edge event with dynamic widgets. Integrated Cloud Edge allows front-end and back-end to work together. Harmony OS simplifies processes. There is also Chen Chenge, the author of the Smart Widget, who has a non-professional development background, but won the special prize in the NCloud integration event. Some people may be curious about what NCloud integration is. Simply put, it is a technical solution that allows the front end and back end to be developed collaboratively, and developers only need to focus on specific business logic. Harmony OS simplifies development with a distributed framework and unified language, lowering the threshold. Oh. It enables developers to focus on user experience with features like animation sync and multi-device collaboration without technical hassles. Harmony OS enhances efficiency and results. The system encourages developers to create, adapt, and provide feedback, understanding the challenges of engaging apps and users. I don't want to have my own APP. Now Hongmeng provides system capabilities, such as animation data synchronization and multi-terminal collaboration, so developers can focus on creating a better user experience without spending a lot of time solving tedious technical problems. Now Hongmeng is not only more efficient and effective for developers, Harmony OS is committed to encouraging developers to create, adapt, and provide feedback. Oh. We aim to avoid a cycle where developers see no users and users see no apps. Harmony OS progresses daily, listening to feedback and eho and allowing targeted optimizations. It collaborates with all developers, including small ones, offering more opportunities for those developing native Harmony OS apps. Avoid the vicious cycle of developers feeling that there are no users and users feeling that there are no apps. Microsoft's Windows Phone and BlackBerry have already proven this, but Hongmeng is really improving every day and listening. Developers will have targeted optimizations, which is a good start. So now, Harmony OS is working with all developers, including those small but beautiful developers. At this stage, the platform will definitely provide more opportunities for developers who actively adapt and develop native Harmony OS apps. An expert told me that in 10 years, Harmony OS could have millions of applications and possibly tens of millions of developers. By that time, Huawei might not be able to cater to every single developer. We really need to seize this opportunity, so I wish everyone great success in 2025 with the native Harmony OS applications they develop. That's it for the video. Don't forget to follow me. I'm Ace, and I can help you be more productive.